Hello beauties, welcome back to Echo Beauty. Do you want to look young and energetic? If you are team for look young and energetic, you might love this tutorial. In today's video I will share you, how to dress up to make yourself look like you have a sense of youth. Teenage sense, a network buzzword, refers to the feeling that, some people have, a sense of youth and look sunny and energetic. First, teen sensation actress. When you think of teenage actresses, who comes to mind first? The first one that comes to mind is Ryoko Hirasu, known as the last beautiful girl of the 20th century and the best representative of teenage actresses. Take a look at the fresh, teenage look of Ryoko Hirasu in her high school days, when her classmates secretly took a photo of her and selling photos to magazines as a plain face. She appeared in The Beach Boys at the age of 16, and the part in the film where she rides a bike while eating tomatoes is a perfect illustration of the so-called spirited teenage boy. Since then, short hair and a bicycle have been the hallmarks of Ryoko Hirashu's younger years. Okita Yuki, who was a Naomi and Kanako, a CP with Ryoko Hirasu, also one of the representatives of Teenage Sense actresses. Okita Yuki is the best Japanese actress, in terms of appearance, according to the Japanese media, and the dream girl of Crayon Shin. She was in the oldest version of 1995's Flower Boy as Sagina, and many people thought she was more handsome than the male lead. So after filming this drama, the one who received the most love letters from girls, was not the male lead, but Okita Yuki. Unlike Ryoko Hirasu's refreshing teenage sense, Okita Yukis is much more melancholic, as if the senior who is looking out the window forever, wondering what he's thinking. Second, the way of teenage sense. What is the female juvenile sense exactly? To me, it's a slightly androgynous, gender-blurred sense of beauty, not the feminine features of a flattering face, a luscious body, and flowing hair, nor is it a pile-up of masculine features like a firm face, hard bones, and super short hair, rather, it's an air of clean simplicity. It is important to start to have some definition, but also not too angular and mature. Teenage girls, in general, need to have well-defined jaw inflection, to add jaw volume and create a sense of facial contour. If the soft tissue is too full, or the jaw volume is not enough, then it's hard to have a teenage look. However, the jaw volume should not be too prominent either. Also, the overall skeletal feel of the face should not be too prominent. Otherwise, it will look too mature for the whole person, without the translucent freshness of a teenager. In addition to a sense of contour, there needs to be some soft tissue in the face to neutralize it. In summary, the overall facial appearance. It needs to be masculine with a sense of contour and some baby fat that is not fully mature. Another point that is important for teenage look is the nose. Most of the teenage sensation actresses have straight noses. The bone sense is heavy, and the back of the nose is even prominent. If the nose is curved, and the back of the nose is low, then the juvenile feel is drastically reduced and replaced by a sense of delicate and flirtatious. Secondly, a juvenile look requires that the features are not overly heavy and there needs to be some white space. Otherwise the impact of feminine beauty will be strong, rather than the natural lightness required for a juvenile look. Of course, the body should also be lean enough to be a teenager after all. However, the nose eye condition is more limited. The nose is not straight enough, the eyes lack radiance, and the bones and soft tissues are not light enough, especially when the actress with luscious features and a full figure has short hair. The beauty value is also far less than with long hair. In contrast, the actress who fits the sense of a teenager will also be strange if she has to dress up as a big beauty. This makes them unrecognizable. And it was only when they return to their teenage that they gradually treat their own style. Third, cultivate a sense of youth. If you have a more flattering teenage face, you can actually try this style. Short hair, if you want a slight teenage style, the most normal short haircut will do. For a slouchy teenage look, there are templates for slightly longer, shorter hair. In terms of makeup, teenagers should not wear heavy makeup and can wear some nude makeup. The focus is on clear skin, and teen is more of an unadorned beauty. The shape of the eyebrows is more suitable for wild eyebrows with folded corners. The bend accentuates the three-dimensional silhouette, while the opposite is true for the softness. Wild eyebrows have a more natural hair flow, while the opposite is more refined. It also means a more three-dimensional and natural eyebrow shape to enhance the teenage feeling. Finally, there is the dressing aspect, which is mainly three styles. First is the unisex style, loose-fitting suits, or simple shirts. There are also pant suits. Trouser backs are available. If you wear a skirt, it's best to choose a style with sharper lines. Then top it off with a sweatshirt t-shirt. The main thing is to give a fresh, youthful, natural look. 
Of course, the match of appearance is important, but the temperament created solely by the appearance is not long lasting. What matters is still inside, emanating from the inside out. Teenage is more of a stubbornness and naivety, novelty and exploration. It is a scent of youth that remains. It's hard to fully define it by externals alone. There are people in their 50s with thick faces and red lips and still have the light of a teenager in their eye, while there are others in their early 20s with a clean-cut body that is already greasy. The face is easy to recognize, but the heart is hard to gauge. There are many different standard systems of aesthetics. The most important thing is to find the right style for yourself. I hope all of you, my beauties, will find the style that makes you most comfortable, natural and honest. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.